Hi folks, welcome to another tutorial. This is uh, Dr. Magal here. Today we are going to create a 3-bit binary gray code counter. Uh, now for those of you who doesn't know how to create a, a gray code So in data electronics, the binary a digit, which is also known as a bit, can be 0 or 1. So in order to create a 2-bit create a gray code, You would basically take a mirror image of 0 and 1, so uh, below, right here, and then notice you have two halves right here, correct? So to the first half, you insert 0 to the left, and to the second half, you insert 1 to the left. meaning you get 0 here to the first half and you get 1 here to the second half. So this is your 2-bit binary code. If you want to make it a 3-bit uh, gray code, then you take a mirror image of 2-bit gray code. So you have 1, 0 here, 1, 1 here, 0, 1 here, and 0, 0 here. Again, notice you got two halves right here. This is the first half, this is the second half, and we do the same thing to the first half. We add insert 0 to the left, so you get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, and then insert 1 to the left of the second half, so you get 1, 1, 1, and 1. So this is a 3-bit gray code, and this is what we are going to do today. We are going to implement a 3-bit gray code using a 1 hertz frequency clock and implement it on basis 3 board. So let's look at what uh, modules do we need here. The very first thing we need is a slow clock, okay? So we need a slow clock here, and we're looking at a frequency of one hertz, meaning the gray code counter changes every second, okay? Uh, this slow clock is then feeded into a counter, okay? And because this is a three bit gray code counter, so this is going to be a three bit counter which is going to count from starting from zero and then after one second it will go to one and then after every second it will increment by one and once it goes to seven it will then roll over uh, once it generates a count like this zero 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 one uh, zero one zero and then goes all the way to triple one for every binary number it generates a gray code right here So we would need one module that will do the conversion into the gray code, okay? And we, in this experiment, uh, you can either, if you like, you can display the answer on a seven segment, or you can L, uh, also display uh, on a, a LED, okay? I want to do an LED here because in on, in one of the other project, I'll show you how to do how to display the conversion into a seven segment but we will display in LEDs the three LEDs that we'll use which will display the three bit gray code counter so this is a theory about this project let's move on to the Vivaro and let's get started with the coding remember we need three of these modules this is going to be the top module right here uh, and we can instantiate this counter and this slow clock right here alrighty let's get started so working on the first module which is going to be slow clock and remember we are going to generate a clock with a frequency of one hertz that means the counter changes every one second uh, and, and this is a code uh, which I have done uh, quite a few times so I'm just gonna quickly go through it uh, the input is a clock from the basis 3 board the output is going to be that one hertz clock uh, we came up with this uh, value for the register which will be from 0 to 25 uh, we are actually registering our uh, output clock as uh, our as a register, um, and then we look at the positive edge clock. Uh, the every time the positive edge of the clock arrives, the counter goes up by one. When the counter reaches a value of this, that means uh, you know um, that's half a second, and the output 
uh, is then supposed to go to off so the count goes to zero and the clock output which is basically then the reciprocal uh, not the reciprocal the opposite of the clock out so if it was high then it goes to low or if it was low it will go to high there's a separate tutorial on uh, more detail about this code i'll leave a, li a link in the comment section or on the screen uh, please watch that the second module that we need is uh, basically a three bit counter uh, the inputs being uh, clock and clear and Q. Um, and again, uh, I'm declaring my output Q as a register. Uh, and because it's a three bit counter, gray code counter, so we need uh, three of those bits. When the positive edge of the clock arrives, uh, begin. Uh, when clear, all the three bits goes to zero, else the increment goes up by one. It goes to seven and then roll over and then start over from zero again. Uh, so it's pretty simple code right here again this is something that i have covered a few times in many other tutorials so i uh, just wanted to quickly go through it and the last module which is going to be going to be the top module let's now work on towards making the top module which is going to generate a three bit gray code counter uh click and source next it's going to be create a file and say Top module. A code. Okay. Click OK. Here, the inputs are going to be clock, uh, clear. We also have uh, the next state, which I'll just say NS. This is going to be the output. And it's going to be a bus uh, and because it's going to be a three bit so we need three of those so it goes to zero to two and that's pretty much it i click ok uh here is well i'm going to finish the code i'm going to uh now the present inputs which are so i'm going to declare them as wire which will be okay uh, these will be the present states so let's get them as wire and then also I'm going to use the slow clock so I'm just going to get a wire and clock out uh, at this point I should also be instantiating the two modules which we created earlier And those were the slow clock and the three bit counter. So let's instantiate that slow clock. Uh, and the slow clock is, you have to make sure that you exactly copy the same thing. The, sh the name should match. Uh, a U5 clock, which is the input and the clock out, which is the slow clock. Okay. And we also need to instantiate the three bit counter. So I'm just going to copy the name of the module uh, and then paste it over here. Bit counter U5, say U6, uh, and uh, I'll have the slow clock as an input, uh, clear as an input, and the Q, which is the present state so present state will basically be a counter a three bit counter starting from zero zero and then going to seven and then rolling over to zero again uh, and then what i did in logisim earlier i went ahead and created a truth table so the you know, the counter starting off with zero then moving on to one two three and all the way to seven when the counter is zero basically when the present states are zero 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 the gray code of that is 001, which I showed you earlier as well. Uh, and then similarly, when the 001, the gray code of that is 011 and so on. Uh, using the logism, I went ahead and got the expression for the three next states right here. NS2, NS1, and NS0. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy all these expressions and paste it into the very log. Uh, into the Vivado. So I went, uh, I went ahead and copy pasted uh, these expressions 
uh, from the Logisim and paste it into this, this file right here. Uh, I had to make few changes because uh, what is D here, basically I'm using Q here. Or I could do is change Q to D, but I just wanna uh, keep it Q because the, uh, that tells me these are the present states. Uh, and because I have declared them as an error, so I have to make sure these are in square brackets. Uh, and then uh, in the logism, we have these plus sign. This these plus sign will be replaced by this vertical line, uh, which is an R operator. Okay. So I got all the assigned functions. So basically, I'm using a data flow model here, uh, and my code is pretty much ready. So it's gonna take uh, the slow clock and uh, take the value of the queue from a three-bit counter and then do the um, those values from Q will go through these expressions and they will basically give us the, the give the next state values um, and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and save it uh, there are a couple of errors let's see what are they Yeah, uh, one thing I forgot to do is I need to declare my uh, next state as wire because the, uh, those will be uh, changing continuously. So let's go ahead and save it. Uh, looks like I have an error somewhere over here. The error is on line number 35 and looks like I think I have found where the error is. I'm missing an end operator here. Let's make sure everything else looks good, which it does. Let's go ahead and save it again. Yay, the error is gone. Let's uh, do the implementation here. Make sure you select your... Actually, before we do the implementation, I wanted to show you my constant file. Basically, I have a clock right here and the clear button, which will be a switch. Then I got the three LEDs, which are basically going to uh, represent the next states, okay? Uh, let's run the implementation. And you know it takes few seconds so, so implementation is complete now we're going to move on to generating the bit stream file uh then remember this was the uh, next state okay uh, which is basically generating your three bit gray code counter uh okay let's click here click save um generate the bit stream file and again it will take few seconds Stream file has been generated. Let's uh, click OK here. Uh, choose your target. Next, next. This should be really quick. Click next again. Finish it. Uh, here you see your chip right there. I'm just going to click here and then program the device. Uh, all right. Let's look at the implementation on the basis three board now. Here is the implementation of three bit gray code counter. You see, it's uh, it's currently one one zero and then moves on triple one, then one zero one and one zero zero. And if you look at the table on the right, you see it's actually basically following that same pattern. So this is your three bit gray code counter, which is being displayed on your basis three board. Pretty much it from this tutorial, and I'll be making another one soon. So let's watch out for that. And if you have not already, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, guys.